Hello everyone, welcome once again to Scorpion Cigar Reviews. Today, I will be reviewing the Alec Bradley American uh, Classic Series, the Sun Grown. This is a Toro size cigar. This is uh, this month's uh, September um, Cigar of the Month at Milan Tobacconist in Roanoke, Virginia. They're running a special on it. The regular retail price on this is five dollars and fifty cents. Um, it was marked down to, I believe, four dollars and seventy cents. I think was the price before tax, title, license fee, import. Uh, you know, yada yada yada. By that time, it was closer to six dollars again. But anyway, uh, it is what it is. Can't do anything about the government taxes, I guess. Uh, I'll be pairing today's cigar with a favorite libation of mine. Elijah Craig, small batch, 12 year old. Kentucky Straight Bourbon Whiskey, 94 proof. I've already poured myself a little dram. I'm familiar with this bourbon. I'm going to go ahead and put in Ralphie Recommended Universal Universal Measuring. Oh boy. I haven't even had a drink yet. A teaspoon of water. Give it a little swirl. Right, let's get this thing out of the cellophane. Nice uh, espresso, dark espresso colored wrapper. Has a looks like a single cap. Find that hard to believe. I'm only seeing one. Uh, very tight seams. Very tight. Ah, there. You, ah. Boy, I can hardly find a seam in it. There we go. Very, very good construction as far as uh, tight seams. Um, there's some minor veining. No big deal. A little bit of hay. Fresh tobacco leaves, some grains, cocoa, it's starting to open up here, a little bit of leather, a lot going on, something else in there, okay, let's see what the foot has. More of the leather and some grain. Some more cocoa, some bread dough. Subtle hints of kitchen spices. Starting to feel a little tingle on the nose. I'll probably end up sneezing. Oh, off to a wonderful start. This, uh, just the nose alone on this is just absolutely fantastic. Firm pack, ever so slight bit of sponginess, just as it should be. Alright, let's see if I can do this without breaking my Glen Cairn glass. Glass, oh god, I can't talk. My Glen Cairn glass. I've already managed to break the, the little gingerbread jar lid. I, I, I dropped it, knocked it off when I was putting the glass away, hit the shelf, and off came the lid onto the tile. Bam. Uh, glasses are expensive. They're, a glass is like $20 and the lid was like, oh, I forget, either $2 or $4, but at least it wasn't the glass that broke. Um, I've got another set, but anyway, I'll be using my trusty Zycar light. Uh, man, what is this? This is a Zycar guillotine cutter, not a lighter, folks. You won't get much lit with this, I tell you. And if you're already lit, I wouldn't be messing with this because you cut your darn finger off. Anyway.
Relight draw. Some spices. A little bit of hay, a little bit of leather. I feel that sneeze building. That's about all I'm getting out of the pre-light draw. Very tasty though. It's rather fitting. I believe this is an Alec Bradley lighter. Yes, it is. Alec Bradley lighter. I call this a teapot lighter. That's what I call it. Looks like a little miniature teapot. Actually, a very nice lighter as long as there's no wind. It's very sensitive to the wind. I have a fan blowing, help keep me cool uh, with the, the lights on, shining right on me for the filming. I tend to get rather warm. In fact, I had to switch lights. I had a like a shop light shining on me, and uh, uh, those suckers put out some heat. Oh my goodness, I couldn't take it. I had to switch lights. Here we go. Right off the bat, some uh, some spiciness, not overpowering though. At the moment, that's all I'm getting. Smoke is a little bit dry. A little bit of resistance on the draw, but not uh, not not too snug. It's not a problem. has that typical sun-grown kind of a dark spiciness to it not you know not super strong it's just reminds me of something dark like the wrapper all right I'll continue on I'll get somewhere in the first third and I'll be back here we are about 15 minutes in Burns a little bit uneven, but it's it's not too bad. It's starting to get a little bit of a curve to the ash. I'm gonna go ahead and give it a slight tap just to see if it'll come off easily. I'm gonna have to fight it. It came off. All right. Plenty of smoke output. Seems to be getting a a little bit snugger on the draw. Some coffee notes. Some spice. At the moment, that's all I'm getting. You have to kind of look for that coffee note. All right, I'll continue on. I'll come back somewhere in the second third. We are about 30 minutes in. I tapped the ash off again. I had about oh, three quarters of an inch of ash. A little tap came off nicely. Picking up maybe um, some, I guess I'd call it a cereal note, like a grain cereal. Subtle spiciness. Not as um, 
Not as strong as I would have thought. Being a sun-grown wrapper, I would have expected a little more spice, but uh, I'm happy about that. Um, I like just a little bit of spice. The burn. Uh, it's, it's been kind of uneven. Uh, I haven't had to touch it up. It's uh, just continuing on uneven the whole way. Not, not getting too wonky on me there. I just kind of keep my eye on it and see what happens. Smoke is still a little bit dry, but not terrible. Coming to you today from my cigar lounge in my home, called the Scorpion Lounge. It's a um, particular room I'm in is probably, oh, I don't know, 1,400 square feet or something like that in this part. And there's a game room next door, doors on either side behind me, two doors. Um, total of about 1,700 square feet. You may see in future reviews different angles in the room where I'm smoking. I haven't, haven't decided exactly what's the best spot to do my cigar reviews. To see what happens. Subtle flavors in this cigar. They're pleasant. Medium body. Medium strength. Picking up a sure what that is. It's not really a sour note. And a little bit of sourness there. But not a citrus sour. Not a bad sour. Maybe sour isn't the right word. Not sure what that is. I have to think about that. I'll come back somewhere in the final third. Here we are about about 50 minutes in. Maybe this particular whiskey wasn't the best choice to go with this particular cigar. Not a bad pairing, just they're not complementing each other quite as well as I had hoped. Starting to pick up a little bit of a uh, like a dry cedar note on the finish. spice on the retro hail still. Not a whole lot going on. The flavors are very subtle. Pretty short. Not a bad cigar by any means. It's actually pretty uh, pretty tasty. I'm, I'm happy with it. Especially at uh, well even the, the regular price of $5.50 plus taxes. It's uh, good construction, good looking cigar. Uh, starting to burn a little bit warm in the final third here. I'll go ahead and I'll remove the band. I can already tell it's, it's not sticking to the wrapper leaf at all. It's, it's loose. I can, I can move it around without it catching anything. Let's see here. Yeah, it came off nicely. It's an attractive looking label. Very colorful. Yeah, have it right there. No 
excess glue left on the wrapper leaf, no damage to the wrapper leaf. Definitely some, uh, some kitchen spices on the finish. Maybe a little bit of paprika maybe. Very subtle, very short, just real soft finishes. I'm going to go ahead and tap this a little bit again. Nope, not quite ready. The burn is a, a little bit wavy, not bad. It's trying to correct itself. It's been the case the whole way through. Like I said, not a whole lot going on. Just now picking up a little bit of that, that dry cedar finish. You have to really look for it. A novice smoker might not pick that up. Okay, I'll continue this on. I'll come back, uh, come back in the nub somewhere. See you in a bit. Here we are, about uh, an hour and twenty minutes in. I'm in the nub, uh, it's still burning. You know, a little bit, a little wavy, a little uneven. No big deal. It's been self-correcting the whole time. Not a whole lot of changes. That final third, uh, the, the burn slowed way down. Uh, pleasant cigar. Definitely a good price point. I'll go ahead and end this review here, saying that the Alec Bradley Classic Series uh, American Sun Grown Toro has been a very pleasant cigar. Could recommend this cigar to really just about anybody. Medium body. Subtle flavors, but they are there. That's about it. So I thank you for once again watching Scorpion Cigar Reviews. Catch you next time.